My name is Steve Lemke. I'm the floodplain administrator for the town of Guilford in the state of Vermont. I didn't know a lot about flooding. Uh, I was in, I've always been interested in water and rivers and streams and how people react to those. As far as the floodplain administrator was concerned, uh, there hadn't been one. In, there was a bit of a gap between uh, the last one and the time that I started. And I had been attending some uh, select board meetings about the Green River Trust and others. People knew I was interested in rivers and waters and streams. And at one of the meetings at, that I had attended, uh, I think three, it'll be three years ago in March, uh, the select board said we're going to fill the next position and that's floodplain administrator. And the select board looked up and said, Steve, would you like to be the floodplain administrator? And I said, sure. I came back to the, uh, to the select board and I presented them with a year long plan. I said, here's what I think we should do short term. After reading what the NFIP, National Flood Insurance Program, required, I said, here are the things that we want to make sure in the short term, that we've got a file cabinet, that we've got folders, that we've got records, that we've got uh, the, the things where they should be, just in the general things. And when somebody walks into the town clerk's office, we don't send them to Springfield. We say, oh, I'll get you a, I'll get you a permit right here. Here's your application. Uh, so then the next, the, the longer term was to look at what it means to, uh, to protect the water. What can we do? Uh, and one of the third things that we did is over the longer term in 90 days to, uh, to six months was to say, let's look at what we can do for town funding. And one of the things that came up was the Emergency Relief and Assistance Fund uh, is a five-part program of state funding that matches funding to 17.5% uh, of federal funding if you have a, f if you have a floodplain disaster that's federally uh, it declares a federal disaster. So Guilford had done the roads and bridges. We'd done the hazard mitigation plan. We had a town plan. Uh, we had all these things. But the one missing thing was a river corridor plan. Uh, and that was the last 5%. If you don't believe in the role of the floodplain administrator, you can't do the job because it's this delicate balance of, of preservation. It's this delicate balance of, of protecting people and property and town resources. Uh, it's this delicate balance of telling people uh, that you're going to regulate what they, uh, what they can do on their land that's close to the river. Uh, you have to be able to communicate with people, you have to be able to understand what you're doing, and you must have the knowledge and the facts. Because people, when you go to tell somebody that they can't do something on their land, you need to, to be able to believe what you're telling them, why they can't do it, as far as the emotional and, and, uh, and cultural side of it, uh, and safety side, but also you have to be able to tell them uh, what they can't do because it's a regulation. One of the most important things as a floodplain administrator is to be accessible. And that comes two ways, by design and default. Uh, design, you can say, I want everybody in town to know that I'm the floodplain administrator and that they can call me. Or, by default, when the select board and everybody else says, for more information, call Steve at this number. One thing people say is, why do you do this? If you don't get paid for it, and it takes a lot of time, and it's cutting into your retirement, uh, and you know, it, there isn't anything that I want to plan that I can just do necessarily without checking to see when the next select board meeting might be and is this going to be on the agenda. So why do that, right? The reason I do it is, what, is this, the reason I said I took the job, is that I'm interested in the water. I'm interested in streams. I'm interested in rivers. As I sit here talking about some of these things, I have to say, this is the opinion of one person who enjoys doing this job, who is motivated to learn as much as I can, and who's been doing it for, in relative terms, a very short period of time. And there's not one bone in my body that says there, isn't, there aren't people out there who've been doing this for five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, who, who could look at this and say, he doesn't know what he's getting into yet and things. And when, well, I, if I do this for 15 years, well, I look back at what I'm saying now and sort of say, wow, was that naive? But I can only tell you that I've, I've tried to share here what I know about being a new floodplain administrator, not what it's like to be an experienced floodplain administrator. I've tried to share some of the resources that you can go to. There are associations out there of floodplain administrators. There are regional planning groups and the Agency of Natural Resources and the federal government. And, but if you keep your eyes and ears open, 
you're at least heading in the right direction. So I'm not saying that what I know is the future. I can only look back and say what I've learned since I've been doing this, and I've been doing this for less than three years. So take anything that I've said with that in mind and go enjoy yourself.